Well, here we are. Here we are. Live on a Wednesday again. Two too weeks in a row. I know. Is it too much? Maybe it's too much. It's probably too much. What are we <laughs> even doing? Uh, well, hello, everyone. It looks like we've already got some people in the comments. Tim M is here. Levi is here. Johnny Utah is here. And there you go. Johnny Utah calls a T-minus countdown to Norman sighting. There you go. He did not want to miss it. He's yeah. been prowling around for the last 20 minutes, just waiting for this to start. Talk about calling your shots there, Johnny Utah. Well done. <laughs> Great well name, done. by the way. You guys are prompt. Thank you, Andrew Stevens. We appreciate that. That's, you know, if you're not prompt, what are you even doing? Well, we're prompt for you. I can't say that in the rest of my life. <laughs> right. Yeah, we've done, we've done well today. Yeah. Um, well, this is great. Welcome to the live stream uh, where we're finally, finally trying Stellum. Uh, yeah. Everybody has been telling us forever to try some Stellum, and they've said everything from it's the new rare breed to it's the rare breed killer. And, yeah. you know, some parts of the country you have to be careful saying something like that because people are real loyal to their wild turkey. And I love it. We are. <laughs> but Phil always just jumps right in, and he doesn't say, if you're new out there. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Bourbon Band. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. This is Norman. This is why you come, really. <laughs> Honestly. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Um, so this is typically uh, Wednesdays. We release a video where we discuss a new whiskey or a new to us whiskey mm -hmm. or pull something off the shelf and give it a review. And uh, lately we've been doing a few live streams here and there because we've added a new feature on Fridays. We do um, five Sip Friday. And so with the, with the additional work, the additional videos, uh, we have been trying to mix in some live streams because it's a little bit less editing work, uh, which is helpful. And more fun because we get to interact. Honestly, a lot more fun. Yeah. Um, Real quick, shout out to everybody that's here and obviously tonight, by the way, celebrating 100 episodes, which is bananas. I didn't think we'd make it. Uh, no, no. I, even last week, I wasn't <laughs> sure we were going to make it. Uh, Jeff Perkins is here. Cheers and congrats. Thank you, Jeff. Rob, uh, Rob Goulday, Lyle. Hey, man, everybody's here. Wendell's here. Cheers. Uh, Tim from Mississippi. Eric C. Cheers. Johnny Utah. Cheers to 100 Beyond. Thank you. And uh, Thomas Muller. Let's see if this MGP product can take down Rare Breed. I don't think so. Hey, who knows? I don't think so. Like you're already, you're already siding. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it, it's really hard not to be a little bit tribalist and super loyal to those products that have been your historic favorites. You know. I know. Oh, here, here we have last year's last week's uh, t-shirt uh, winner. T-shirt winner. Well yeah. done, Tristan. Um, Whiskey Burger. Cheers, Brian Nicholson. Found you all a few days ago. Loving what I see so far. Congrats on 100 and many more. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Brian. You got a lot of work to do catching up. Uh, <laughs> I would expect you to binge all of that and, and issue a report next week. Um, also, I just want to say uh, Norman's very much into the video, giving him lots of snuggles. There should be plenty of cat fur in our samples. I'll be honest. There's a lot of cat fur flying around. Yeah. I can feel it on my face. I don't really care for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tim says he's team uh, RB, rare breed, for sure. Uh, Tyler Deputy just found your channel recently. Great content. Thank you, Tyler. We will we'll expect you to get all caught up on every video <laughs> we've ever released as well. All hundred of them. Go ahead and get to it. We got a long weekend. Uh, it's fun to. I, I feel like we maybe we maybe it was me. I was like, oh, we should watch like the first one we ever did, and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Hopefully, we've gotten better since then. The funny thing is, the first video that we released was the Wood Finished Whiskey Challenge, uh, the yeah. Wood Finished Bourbon Challenge, and for some reason, YouTube has been encouraging people to watch that oh, one really? more and more oh boy that one's got more views all of a sudden in the last month than it had ever before yeah and so i'm sorry if that's your first introduction to us that that was not <laughs> it was poorly edited and hey, uh, a lot somewhere. of gibberish but hey like you gotta start somewhere exactly yeah. uh, by the way we have five straight comments about norman james says way to go norman congrats on 100 jake miller norman bourbon of the week norman jake miller is team norman that's great that's <laughs> rob he likes norman he jumped down uh, Tim sorry. says, "Does Norman give headbutts? You know, not no. not so much headbutts, but uh, he does some. He he does have some weird habits. Well, we taught taught him how to fist bump. He fist bumps for treats. Yeah, fist bumps for treats. Yeah. Um, he's not a head bumper. No, but... he's doing what he does best right now. He's up on the countertop, looking um, in the sink, licking just everything. Yeah, it's if there was food there six months ago, he's gonna lick it. Yeah, yeah, it's, he's always hungry." I'm not close-minded. It's just rare breed is that good. Well, shoot. We're here to find out. Yeah, you're not wrong. Honestly, rare breed. There's 
you know, when you, when you start your bourbon journey, when you get into bourbon oh, and rye for that matter, mm -hmm. there's a couple stops along the way as you're learning and finding new things. One of those lower shelf uh, sort of great deal whiskeys that, you know, it might be a secret to a lot of people, but Old Granddad 114 is one of those on that ladder as you're working your way up, learning what you like. And then the next stop, I would say price wise and proof wise is Wild Turkey's Rare Breed. So it's, you know, it, I, I kind of think of it as great budget whiskey, both, well, really great budget bourbon because the rye, at least here, sells for 60 bucks hard to find mm -hmm. and you know it's not i wouldn't call that budget at all um, but the bourbon i always think of as one of the more budget barrel proof solid stout you know yeah always Stand gonna get the job done yes exactly yeah. stalwart whiskey so yeah. um I when was, people said when i started hearing people say stellan was a rare breed killer it made know. me sad and a little offended yeah. oh. <laughs> But I think it's a it's a good way to celebrate 100 videos, right? I mean, I we love agree. wild turkey, we love rare breed, and everybody is talking a big game here with the Stellum. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm excited. We got uh, Chris Mounts in the house. Good to see you too, bud. Johnny Utah. Editing skills and production value has greatly improved over over 100 episodes. <laughs> Yeah, and also we're That's less likely so. to just throw a 25 minute video out there. Uh, these yeah. days we try and keep it. Uh, Within 10 minutes or less. Yeah. Dave Markowski, what's up, Dave? Mark H, greetings from Virginia, where our liquor taxes are as high as yours. Do you have, uh, we have no sales tax here. So we, we do have a similar system, I know, of uh, being able to see, uh, you know, all the bottles online. Yeah. Um, Lyle says, if you want to watch an earlier video, go find Phil's take on OGD 14. Thank you, Lyle. That video, so, nobody, I mean, so nobody watches that video. And I got, it's my favorite Review. It's personally my favorite review of any bottle that we've ever taken a look at. So silly. That's the one. I will say that you recently you were editing a video, and if you stay to the end, you can click on another video. And he was like, No one's given my 114 any love. He's like, It's so <laughs> funny. And he just clicked it in there. It was, it was, I was recording that, I was recording that review when I realized nobody's watching these anyways. I could just be myself. Oh. Uh, and uh, I like that version myself. I was watching you. Jason, C well, wow, that's really nice of you. Uh, nobody's going back and watching those because you're not in any of them, quite honestly. Uh, Jason C, is that a Russell's 13 I see review coming oh, soon? Wait, good oh, wait. Good eyes. Yeah, it is on the good movie. eyes, Jason. Yes. Actually, we're... Um, we got lucky. We got really lucky with that one. And we've got what I think is a pretty interesting video idea for that one. It's not just going to be a review. We have a, a good idea that... Because everybody's doing reviews of that one. Everybody's saying the same thing. That is amazing. Um, we want, we want to talk value and is it, is it really worth the hunt? And so that should be an interesting concept. We'll do what we can. Yeah, we're pretty um, sure that it's amazing. Yeah, we just want to share, you know, as much as we can information-wise so you know if you're really missing out or not. I'm feeling keep, excited yeah, about it. Yeah, keep your eyes on that one. It's a good one. Here's Tristan. Rare breed, always amazing, always somehow better than I remember. Make sure you go in with an open mind. But it's the bird. Yeah, completely, yeah. completely. We're going to we're gonna have a look here um, and and – yeah, it's delicious. What what can you say? Yeah, um, I know. We've, I feel like we've talked about rare breed a couple times this summer already. Yeah, it surprising comes how much I I'm liking it um, during these hotter months. Jeez, and it is hot. I think we're on like 25 straight days over 90 degrees yeah. here. We usually get between eight and 10 days above 90 here in Central Oregon. Yeah. So, um, which by the way, shout out to our uh, the wildfire firefighters out there, uh, the pilots. Sure. People on the ground digging the ditches, everybody doing their thing because uh, they are very, very busy this yeah. year, and we could not appreciate what they're doing more. We get we wake up to smoke almost every single day now, um, which is earlier than it usually is. So we appreciate the efforts out there. For sure. Eric C says he's sipping rare breed tonight to tag along. Stellum not readily available in my neck of the woods. Not yeah, probably not yet, Eric. We actually all of a sudden it's popped up everywhere, and now it's everywhere. It's always yeah. everywhere. It's it's. I, I have to appreciate what Barrel, who owns them, is doing. It seems like they're rolling it out the best they can to to yeah. try and make it as readily available as possible. And we know the difference between Selm and Rare Breed. Rare Breed releases a new batch every year or so, I believe, whereas the Selm is supposedly going to be consistent. Um, so that's that's good news to have a consistent barrel proof on the shelf for these prices. Not too shabby. Um, Tyler says. Uh, 
Elmer T. Lee's dropping in Virginia this week. Keep an eye out for that, everybody. Tim M, it is a most Russell's 13 indeed. Raider Nation says, cheers, guys. I love both those bottles. Stellum Rise, also great. Yeah, we're going to get into some of that tonight as well. Um, and if you have seen the banner at the bottom of the page, uh, we are we are giving away two ounces of all four of the bottles that we're trying tonight. So somebody is going to win that flight uh, for every dollar you contribute via Super Chat. Um, so I keep your like eyes on uh, that. No losers in this flight. Uh, no, there are no losers. Here. I, I can tell you a little bit of a spoiler alert. We like all four of these bottles. Yeah, and I will say I only had a, a like a, a little sample just to see what that stellum was all about. So I'm, and it was a, you know, I hadn't had any whiskey that day or bourbon that day. So um, I'm interested to dig a little bit deeper in that. Completely. Jake wants to know, do you edit out all the Norman cameo? I see you're jealous of his fame. <laughs> He, you know when what? he pops we, up, he's there. If we could leave Norman, if Norman would just stay, he would be a staple because I mean, yeah. he's an active guy. He's got stuff to do. He yeah. doesn't sit around hanging out with mom and dad all day. He's on the couch right now wondering why one of the ridiculous programs is not on television right now. Chris Mount says, I feel like a trader drinking Irish whiskey right now. <laughs> Drink whatever you want. That's fine, bud. I love Irish. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bourbon of the week, stay safe out there, y'all. Congrats on 100 Thank years you. to hoping I win. Um, <laughs> Pretty much called it last week and worked out for him. So Bourbon of the week, I, you, you, he shared, I don't know how many people know this. Can we share your news, uh, Chris? Is that all right? Um, we'll come back to that. You let us know because we're on a 10 second delay, but let us know. Well, Johnny says, congrats on the news, my man. I'm pretty sure it came out in the video today. We haven't seen it yet, um, but uh, well, we'll find out. Now you guys are all waiting in, in suspense. I think that, um, yeah, so get in on that. Uh, if, you, if you're if you interested in winning that flight, uh, share away. It, they, he he and uh, his wife are, are pregnant, having a baby. Yay, congratulations. Gonna, so that's um, big news, big no news coming out of Bourbon of the Week today. Um, I'm ready to get started. Are you thirsty like I am thirsty? Yeah. Because I'm already starting to sweat because we had to turn off the AC. Guys, but big news, we got a second, uh, second unit. Second conditioning unit, yeah. Uh, and then in the process, broke the first one. So back down to only one that really works. <laughs> and the new one is like one of those energy savers that doesn't really do the job. So we're actually worse off than we were before. No, 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 we're not. It's, you know, it's, it's doing its job. Right. It's, you know, we're just not used to it. And so, we'll stop complaining about the heat because I'm a summer person. Hey, the next two days are supposed to be it. 88 and 84. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be like paradise here. Yeah. Um, well, are you ready to get into it? I am. JD Rockwell says getting ready for work. So no bourbon tonight. Oh. Love our breed. Very curious how Stellum will fare. Cheers, JD. We'll uh, we'll drink one for you tonight. Um, or four. Or four. Yeah, we'll drink four. <laughs> <laughs> no, we appreciate the support. Have a great night at work. Stay safe. Yeah, for sure. Um, All right. Well, so we're down a glass tonight. So I'm drinking from an old. Rip Van Winkle distillery glass from our Buffalo Trace bourbon tour from oh, ages yeah. ago. Ages. Um, so right front glass here, we got Stellum. As bourbon. long as I didn't confuse them. Right. <laughs> it happens from time to time. So Stellum bourbon, real quick, is uh, 115 mm -hmm. proof. Is it actually exactly 115? I can't read this at all. 114.98 proof. Should have just said 115. It is a product uh, blended of... of uh, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. So uh, interesting blend there, just like barrel. And uh, But just with those three states, what else do we know about it? It's a blend of four to 16 years aged whiskey. It sells for $55. So let's see what a $55 Stellum bourbon tastes like. We've had yeah. both of these open for a couple of months, so or about a month. So they've been open and we're working their way down so that they've had time for the oxygen to work on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I always want cheers right away. This is nice. Brown sugar. Little oak. I think the, the thing I keep finding with this Stellum bottle is the um, I keep finding the the um, the Tennessee whiskey influence on this one. Mm -hmm. I feel like even on the nose, you get a little bit of that. Um, some of that. A little bit of limestone-y. Yeah, minerally. And also like a touch of circus peanut. Yeah. I, I happen to like that. I don't dislike that flavor profile. So that is interesting. It's kind of smell light. Out. So I'm just, it's kind of a light smell. There's definitely 
some caramels in there, a little bit of vanilla. I'm not getting like a, a ton. It smells a little rich though, I will say. It's got a, yeah, yeah. Honestly, pretty cohesive for a blend. They're not always that way. Mm. And the rare breed. Oh, oh am I allowed? Yeah, we can. Oh, we should. Oh, we should go to the nose on. We should compare the nose. Oh, good, because you know I've always liked to compare, and then I. Lyle says, "Congrats on 100. All bourbon tastes better while watching the bourbon band." <laughs> Cheers, Lyle, and loving the new avatar. Well done. I will say I do like the nose on the rare breed. It's a. It's just stronger flavors. Yeah. There's a. Uh, there's Cheech. A little bit. Cheech of Ardolino, welcome, in. Cheech. Good to see you, bud. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for that. Um, yeah, the like button, it does help. The subscribe button always oh, helps. Yes. All those things are very helpful. We never say that. We never say subscribe. I know, but you should subscribe. <laughs> but we do appreciate it. Uh, not so old granddad. Congrats on 100. Thanks a lot, not so old granddad. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the support from all of you. So I'm very familiar with the rare breed. One of the things that always gets me, which is what I'm looking for here, is that it can have a little bit of a, I don't know if it's bitter, but it, it, it takes it takes a, a second to fall in love with it. Yeah. Um, I think so that's, that's, a, that's, yeah, a second to fall in love. I actually yeah. really like that, the way you said that. Um, so, and that's what I'm kind of looking at here, because as much as I love the rare breed, that is one of the little sticklers for me, that it's, <laughs> it's not right out of the gate. Right. However, there are times when it's just so magnificently wonderful. Well, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly say that I like the rare breed nose better. Yeah, this is no. almost a tie for me. They both have really, really nice noses. No, I, I will say, now that I'm going, see, now you go back and forth and you get me all into this. Now all the caramels, the vanillas, sweeter. The nose on the stellum is much sweeter. Maybe it just needed the rare breed to kick its butt a little bit. Let's give it a taste. Let's no, dig into this stellum here. I'm ready now. Cheers. Cheers, hey guys, everybody. Thanks cheers. Thanks for coming. Thanks for helping us get to 100 episodes. Huh. So that tastes different than I remember. It's taste, It's mm. tasted different every single time we've returned to this bottle. It's, um, I'm getting a lot of vanilla on that right now. Very oaky, very rich. Yeah. On this one. Definitely rich. Yeah. And I actually think that that Tennessee influence is the first thing that stands out to me here. Mm -hmm. It's very, very sweet. Um, candy like, it's very nice. Cheers, Dennis Weedman. Thanks for the support. It has a bit of a chocolatey note. And I, I know that's probably more of that oakiness that's in here. What's interesting is that I did recently just take a, a quick, let was say a quick hit of this, a quick hit of this one. And I got a lot of um, almost like wine characteristics on it. Yeah. I'm not getting that today. I would say that there's a touch of that dark red grape. You yeah. said port wine at the time. Port wine. I still yeah. don't disagree with that. I, it's not port finished at all. Yeah. It is actual sort of red wine. Yeah, at um, the that time. Shows I, up. Yeah, I was just thinking about drinking port wine with my grandma. Oh, yeah. Grandma's great. Grandma's great. Cheers to grandma, who's definitely she's not still, watching. She's still drinking a you know gallon of port wine. She gets into it. Good for <laughs> her. Week, probably. Good for her. Pushing, pushing three digits, too. Oh, 94. Five and four? At I don't know. She, she's been staying at the same age for she's a been couple 90, years. Yeah, she's like one of those that gets to 30 and stays there forever. She's been hovering at 94 yeah. for a long time. Stuff and whiskey, Phil and Julie, big congrats on 100 episodes. Not small feet. Thanks for being awesome and inspirational. Keep up fantastic work. Hey, Thank you, you to you. Keep up the great work yourselves. Pushing 1,000 subscribers over there. Cheers, Aubrey. Thank you for the support. Whiskey knows how you doing? Um, do you want to try some of the rare breed here? Yeah, I was just about right. to switch rare breed bourbon. Just, here we uh, go. Just because I'm a comparison girl. <laughs> you became one after we got married. Correct. And you said, oh, I should have oh, been comparing should've... things all along. Now she compares things all the time. Yeah, should have done more work on this one. Whiskey Nose, new to the channel, just subscribed. We Thank you, Whiskey Nose. That's great. Uh, Lyle says, bourbon of the week and stuff and whiskey in the house. It's a good night. Mm. You said it. Yeah, a lot of... Wow, the rear breed packs more of a punch. Yeah, like that. I would agree. And may, I mean, they all saw my reaction on that. That hug jumps that, on you, though. I took that sip, and it was like almost like a flavor bomb. 
Like this was very subtle and it was delicious. The flavors were really rich. Um, it had, you know, those good caramels and vanillas and stuff. This mm -hmm. one was more of a like, that barrel proof came through. Yeah, wake the up, flavor. it's time, it's time oh, to yeah. drink whiskey. My, now, you know, <laughs> the hug's coming in, coming in hot. <laughs> rare breed hug does come through. You know, rare breed, I've always said it's oak, caramel, yeah. cinnamon. And, you know, it's fairly, it's fairly simple, but it's really cohesive. And you know, man, you know exactly what you're gonna get from the nose to the palate to the finish. Honest whiskey, love talking about that honest whiskey. That's what you get with Rare Breed. So what's interesting about this one is that this was my favorite, one of my favorites for our outdoor adventuring. The Rare Breed was the one that took me by surprise. You know, it's warm season barrel proofing is not, you know, at the top yeah. of my list, obviously, if you watched Monday's video. Um, I, I just, you the flavor of this one is Good. I was I shocked. I really like this one. I was shocked the first time we got a bottle of Rare Breed. Yeah. And you liked it so much. I know. And I was like, this. how does she like this? Because I, I I had no idea that you would like something that high proof, and you went right for it. Yeah, and it's, it's you know, it's not like inherently sweet, 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 right? Yeah. Like it's, you know, you're not drinking candy over here. No. But um, it, there's enough sweetness in there just to... These both have a terrific richness yeah. though. And yeah. they're, they're both sweet. Um, man, it's, these are interesting whiskeys. It's very good. Patrick, thanks for the congratulations. Ooh. Thanks for supporting us. Levi says, you guys are the best. Thanks to the bourbon van. I'm no longer a little lost boy in the whiskey aisle. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, can, we, can we consider, we're your parents and we'll hold your hand in the whiskey aisle anytime. <laughs> uh, you let us know uh, and, and, and we're there for you. Hey, we. I say we, it's really Phil's got all the great advice when it comes to whiskey. <laughs> I will tell you straight away if I like it or I don't like it. Yeah. And my suggestions usually are. Well, you're opinionated old, and you have a, you, and you have a good palate. <laughs> so I right. When somebody asks you, what should I get? Old Forcer and get 50 of them. And get 50 of them. Um, thanks, Levi, I'm for getting support. Better. Thank you, Levi. Yeah. Not so old granddad says, when was that first bottle of rb we probably bought that bottle pretty early on don't you think i would say it's been maybe 14 months we've well, that was a long time ago it not was, in this bottle no this yeah. is like <laughs> bottle number four of rb yeah hmm. okay i'm gonna i'm gonna try the stellum again tristan says i love how julie's easy to read on the fave and phil tries to be diplomatic yeah i'm not trying to throw anybody off but i hate i hate to to dump on something that people worked really, really hard to make. Um, this I is, have to really dislike something before I'll hammer it. This is really good. So I'm gonna say that. Um, there's something very easy, I hate to say easy about that. Like it's an easy drink. The Stellum? Yeah, I'm mm. oh, sorry, the Stellum, yeah. Um, there is something just nice about it. <laughs> Well, there is some there is some limestone in the rare breed too that I don't really I don't notice that mm -hmm. usually. Um, yeah, look, this is a this is a tough call for me. So mm -hmm. I wrote I wrote down a couple of things here as we've been going. Yeah, and and sorry, but I forgot already. As I do, what is the proof on here? As one fifteen, one fourteen point nine eight. And uh, rare breed one twenty is one seventeen is one sixteen point eight proof. Plus, it's only two proof points. That, yeah. So rare breed drinks a little warmer. 300% warmer. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't get a lot of heat on the Stellum. Yeah. Which goes back to my, well, it's such a easy drinker for a barrel cooper kind of drink. Um, the flavors in here are very rich, very, it's it's pretty flavorful. I mean, not like a, I'm not getting a ton yeah. of stuff out of there, but not a lot of heat. Whereas that rare breed, like that, like I said, oh, packs a punch and yeah. Yeah. gets you Price where you're going. Heat. Yeah. Um, so, so items that are, that they have, and by the way, if we didn't fully introduce rare breed bourbon, uh, of course, a wild turkey product, product that's 116.8 proof for this particular batch. Yep. Um, six, eight and 12 year blend. Mm -hmm. So both of these well aged and you can taste it. They're very well aged, nice, sweet oak on both of them, not overly oak spiced. Mm -hmm. The balance is wonderful. Um, uh, but brown sugar, sweet cinnamon, not that hyper hot overblown cinnamon that sometimes mm -hmm. you get on a whiskey very rich oak and they're both well aged and well balanced that's what i have in common for these two yeah so 
that's you know for a forty five dollar bottle and a fifty five dollar bottle, right off the bat you say okay there's a lot in common and they're both very good. Um, for my personal opinion, previously I would have said that Wild Turkey had the sweeter finish, but the more we drink down this Stellum bottle, mm -hmm. it's the other way. Very sweet. Yeah, and I think that's the Tennessee which influence, is, which is interesting because I I'm not a hundred percent sure that I got that like uber sweetness like the first time that I had tried this. Mm -hmm. I will say, because I mean, we're pinning them against each other and Rare Breed is $10 less. Yeah. I love the punch and the flavors of that Rare Breed. I can't get yeah. away from it. It is like, when you're drinking it, I feel like I'm like really drinking something. Yeah, and I think, um, you really drink it. I like yeah. that. Um, I think there's a little more oak on the nose of the wild turkey. I think the wild turkey finish lasts a hair longer, um, but the Tennessee sweetness provides a dynamic flavor. It's mm -hmm. interesting. It adds, I, I I can't imagine what else it would be that's bringing that sort of note in there. And I happen to like well-aged, higher proof Dickel stuff. Yeah. And for some reason that hits my palate. It doesn't hit everybody's palate, but I really like that. And uh, there's a tiny bit of that circus peanut and the candy corn on the nose and on the palate, which is fantastic. So. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to like from the Stellum. I think the mouthfeel is a little, again, a hair better on yeah. the Stellum. And then the wild turkey is a little less complex, but yeah. I think I said earlier, more cohesive. So that's, that's all the tasting notes that I can give on these. I think, um, I think we're on the same page yeah. that we really like the Stellum. We really like the rare breed, but for the $10 price differential, I think I'm grabbing the rare breed. I think I am too. Yeah. yeah, and it was interesting is when this bottle first uh, showed up, I was like, wow, it looks like we're drinking wine. And that's what I found so interesting about the last time I had it, that it had a little bit of a wine finish to it. Maybe that was in my head because that's what I was thinking of. But it is a it is a, a sweeter one. But if you're looking for a value, say we're looking yeah. for value here, right? Which, you know, of course we all are. Right, that, I mean, that's the Can't bottom line. from that, we're, yeah. That's the bottom line. Yeah, I mean, you get a shoot for fifty-five bucks. You can get a rare breed and a um, and an old, old crow. Uh, that way, you get two <laughs> bottles, <laughs> I guess. I want to do a couple of shout outs to folks that I missed in here. Yeah. Um, I see Austin Feltz. How you doing, Austin? Welcome. Awesome. Thanks for the support, Chad Wallace. Yeah. Cheers. Um, who else we got here? We blend rare breed with Kentucky Spirit fifty-fifty. Well, that's interesting. We actually never have explored Kentucky spirit because mm -hmm. there's so many hitter wild turkey products um, that it's one of those things where you're like, do I, do I go and buy this mm -hmm. bottle? I think they're all single barrels and we've got so many good ones that it's, we're hesitant to spend the money on it at some point. I'm sure we will. John Maldonado, chill, Phil and Julie, congrats on a hundred. Looking forward to many more. We'll try and get you another hundred this year, John. Would that be all right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we we've did, got. We did have the third video into our rep repertoire. Well, not only that, but we have the twenty-five videos or twenty-four videos in twenty-four days coming up with our Advent Whiskey Tournament as usual. So that's <laughs> going to be a lot of fun this year, you guys. I, I can't wait like, to introduce you to that. I feel like Phil's. You know, we're we're making it making it through the summer so we can get back to that Advent Tournament. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I just love. I love drinking whiskey in the winter time. What can I, know, I say? Lyle says, what if they cost it exactly the same? Um, good, that is a really good tough question, question. Lyle. Honestly, with the uniqueness and that dynamic Tennessee edge that you get from the Stellum, simply because I like that mineral taste and I like that tiny added complexity, I think the Stellum wins. Then again, the wild turkey is more consistent. Every time we go to the Stellum, there's something different there, which if you, if you know, for a lot of people, that's exciting and they like that. Mm -hmm. For me, I like knowing exactly what I'm going to get. Talking about that honest whiskey again, and that's the rare breed for me. I, boy, it would be a, it would be a, what do you feel like today sort of thing for me. It would be really hard to choose between them if they're the same price, but I, I don't, I, I think maybe the Stellum would have an edge just because the, I really like the mouthfeel on that and that, and that nose is a little more unique to me. Well, I would, so I finish my glasses as I do. And I, Look at, oh my goodness, I've been talking too much. Yeah, which is normally my department. Um, and I just did that and I was thinking in terms of that, right? If they were both 45, 
if you get hung up a bit on, I hate to say that like rare breed has, I don't, know, I don't think it's bitter. Like, what do you think that initial punch is? It's just, it's just a little bit. I think it's barrel proof heat. Stark or whatever, you know, it's not, you're not just going to drink it and have no reaction, I guess. Mm. Um, this is very drinkable. So that's a good point. Straight, straight away. Right. Yeah. And I do, I, I mean, I still lean with that rare breed. I'd like the flavors of it, whatever, mm. but you do have to get in the mindset that is going to have a little bit of that punch, a little bit of that bitterness at the beginning, maybe a little bit of that ethanol right. that you have to kind of cut. So if you're looking for something that's just really, yeah, you know, I, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know if that's a good point or I not, mean, but if I mean, they're both $45, I mean, we talk a lot about on um, whenever we talk old granddad 114, we say something to the effect of you're not going to forget that you're drinking it. It commands your attention. Rare breed has a lot of that going on. Whereas the stone is a little subtler. It's not right. going to hit you over the head with, mm -hmm. with the barrel proofness of it. Right. Um, so if, if the, what, if the rare breed, is a little spicier than you would prefer. It strikes me that the stellum, Spicy, that's the a good stellum one. would probably hit your palate if you prefer something a little sweeter. That's, so, yeah, that's that's that's. This guy. I think it, for me, it would be a mood. It would be a mood choice. Um, it might come down to bottle design, and for that, I choose Reverie. Oh yeah, I, much better. Yeah. I don't. I don't like the design in stellum bottles. But I do like. I, I like that point. The sp spicy versus sweet. Yeah. Um, Which is definitely a preference. Christopher M says, I get a ton of oak and vanilla from the mineral funk in Dickel number 12. Yeah, that's interesting. They, they, that well-aged stuff and that, you know, it's more well-aged than most of the stuff at that price point. We're really interested to try the Dickel bourbon that's coming out. Still not entirely sure what the difference is between that and the rest of the Dickel whiskeys. I guess we'll find out, but uh, uh, it hasn't made its way here yet. But I'm curious about that one because yeah. I really, I'm excited with what they've been doing. It seems like every time we try something new that is it Nicole Austin that's the head distiller there now, every time they put out a new product or she puts out a new batch of something, it's it's very unusual, it's terrific. And also the Bottle and Bond, the new release, the Bottle and Bond uh, vintage for this coming year. We haven't seen that come out yet. Yeah. So we're waiting on it. We're excited to find that too. And I've been very impressed with the latest releases from Dickel. Yeah. 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 That 15 year was yeah. for the, for, for what was it, 55 bucks we got that 15 year for? Maybe it was 60, I think it was 55. And it's 15 years aged, single barrel product. I mean, yeah. You're not gonna find a better well-aged whiskey to try for that price. Um, if you're like us, it's we're just explorers at that point. We just love it. Lyle wants to know 100 more videos this year. Are you gonna start doing 13 sip Thursday? Yeah, maybe, maybe, that's a I good love idea. Those. I love those. For Julie, if we had a 13 sip, she'd have to have a pint glass. <laughs> <laughs> Like a good hearty sip, even though I know that's probably the inappropriate way to drink. I think yeah. you're doing great. A bourbon. Kevin Turnos says, "Congrats on your hundredth. Keep it up, guys. Thanks, Kevin. We appreciate that." Tristan says he would watch that. Yeah, we'd have to get Julia pint glass. Yeah, rare breed is a banger. Congrats, guys, on a hundred. Cheers, Tyler McDowell. We we com completely agree. Um, both of these, though, by the way, they're they're not that different, in my opinion. I think the Stellum again, a touch less spicy, more sweet. Um, but mouthfeel, aroma, even down to the flavor profile in a lot of ways, they're very, very good. The, uh, the Stellum, just a touch more elevated for that $45 price point, if you can mm -hmm. get it for that. Um, I think that's great. Any need for a Bardstown Discovery 5 sample? Well, shoot, it wouldn't hurt, Tim. Uh, we've <laughs> we've had uh, Bardstown 2, we've had Bardstown the Prisoner, and I think that's about it. Now, we have a lot of samples from people that we don't know what they are yet. We haven't opened them. so. If you sent us one and we haven't gotten to it yet, we apologize. We will. How hilarious if, if we did a five sip Friday and it was the discovery, and then we did another one and we're like, no, it's totally not that, and then it was. Maybe not so hilarious. I would probably just kill the channel. Right? Maybe. <laughs> Stellum backwards. Different. A whiskey nose says Stellum backwards spells mullets. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh my gosh, love James says he really does like the look of the Stellum bottle. You would, James. You would. I'm just teasing. <laughs> To me, I said this before, it looks like, this looks like the bottle that if you were on Star Trek The Next Generation and you told the food maker to give you a bottle of whiskey, it would kick out something this modern. Yeah. Commenter my comment face is here. Dickel bourbon is still pretty dickly, but I liked it. Definitely more developed and complex than the number 12. That's exactly the review that we were looking for. And by the way, Bob Saget in the house, obviously, that's fantastic. Right. Um, thank you for the support. We're definitely going to have to check that out. We Again, we've liked everything from Dickel that we've tried lately. 
a favorite bottle that you struggled to find in Oregon. Oh. Uh, anything from Wilderness Trail, we can't get any of that stuff here. And barrel is a lot more readily available outside of state. Not Creek 12, we can't get here. Uh, we've never seen it. If I win, please send to Chris. He's going to need it, fellow dad of girls. Yeah, cheers, Johnny <laughs> Utah. Absolutely, we can we can make that happen. Thank you for the support, and I'm sure Chris thanks you for the support too. Chris being uh, Bourbon of the Week, and again, if you're not supporting, if you haven't seen his channel yet, uh, check him out. He's always up to something over there. Love the channel, Thomas Gordy. Cheers, we love you, bud. Thanks a lot. Consistency is, consistency is what makes rare breeds so exceptional from first pour to last pour. Yeah. So many other bourbons are awesome on the first pour, but by the time you get to last pour, they come a little flat. Exactly. Honest whiskey. We know exactly what we're going to get out of this 100% of the time. Yeah, and uh, still trying to bottle kill some things so we can get some new things on the shelf because we have, I mean, we do. I Anybody mean, else do that? Versus uh, the rare breed. You know, you do get to some where you're like, wow, this has shifted a lot. <laughs> <laughs> to what I remember it like eating. There are some wild bottles that get yeah. real different. We had an Eagle Rare, one of the big ones. I think it's one and a half. It's a 1.75 liter. Yeah. By the time we got a third of the way through that bottle. Oh, yeah, we just killed it. Yeah, the, the last third of it was terrible. And it was. No, a, was, you can't say terrible because it wasn't. It was still it lovely. Got, it got way worse than it started off as. Um, I thought it was. That one, I, I don't know. That one sat in the sunlight, though, for a long time. Like, yeah. it was, the sun always hit it when it came in in the afternoon. So, I'll be honest, it was just nice to get it out of here because it was enormous. Yeah, the kegerator, every time it, uh, I felt like every it time was, it cycled, it, felt like it was like a college kid again, weight. like just buying things for the bottle size. Seriously. It looked like, <laughs> when I brought it home, I came in like I wanted to shake it. Like, I wanted to, it looked like I won a Formula One race. <laughs> so How many suits does it take to get to the bottom of a five sip Friday pour? One. Yeah, Jake Miller. For Julia, just one. <laughs> I mean, I really have to, I really have to, what do you call it? I was going to say margin it out. That's not the right way, but. I know what word you're thinking of, but I can't think of it. Does that make any sense? Nope. Um, there are times that I, I do have to make sure that I'm getting through. No, you'll know, like on a couple of videos, it doesn't take Phil. I mean, I would never get it, but like Phil, you know, two sips or something. And so I'm trying to. You, though, I always say I couldn't do any of the things on Five Sip Friday without your palate. You're the one that gets gets the juices flowing in my brain, I guess. This is why uh, we're a combo. Because your palate is great, way better than mine. And I have the Rolodex because I'm you obsessed do. with whiskey. So, yeah, my brain's in too many, too many things. <laughs> or not in anything. I don't know. Lyle says, here's five <laughs> bucks to help Julie get that purple pint glass. Thanks, Lyle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, things are about to get real weird here on Thursdays when we start doing 13 sip Thursdays. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Quartz bar like on it. DS9. There you go. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, we're thinking um, is it 10 forward with Guinan on Next Generation? I'm watching, by the way, the first oh Star gosh. Trek I've ever watched. I was in my like, life. I, I should it's know It's the first this thing. Now. Yeah, this is the first time Phil's ever seen. Is it Star Trek in general? I've never seen anything from Star Trek. So yeah, I have an older brother, and grew, we grew up obviously during that era, and he was obsessed. And so, like, of course, you know, I was little and got into it, and we, you know, been running out of things to watch. And I suggested, like, we should watch the Next Generation. It'll be really fun. It's I'm been great. Dig, I'm digging it. I think I, it's, I, it's so I, silly, and it always, and, you know, everything works out perfect. I like. <laughs> I think my favorite character, my favorite character is De is Troy, Deanna Troy. Yeah. Because she could read everybody's minds. You would think that she would have the answer all the time. Nobody has any idea what's going on ever. So I like I like the lack of realism. Jake Miller says I wish Chattanooga one eleven was easier to get in Ohio, but some counties never got it. Uh, absolutely, that's another brand that I've never seen here in Oregon, and we've been excited to try it because everybody says how different it is, and yeah, we're always after unique bottles. Um, my brother in Chicagoland has a bottle of it that uh, he's been teasing me constantly about it, saying how great it is. And, and yet I haven't, I haven't tried it. <laughs> no, I, well, and I, I going back to that question, which is what you just said, basically was just, um, that is definitely on the list of things that we want to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. To answer that question. And we're coming that way. So yeah, we, mm, once we hit the road, and I'm Another? terrified of what the shelf is going to look like when we come back three months later. No room for clothes, only room for bottles in the van. No, we're going to have to get a trailer. <laughs> Tow a trailer just for the bourbon. Oh, that would be it's pretty awesome. That'd be actually. terrible. That'd be a terrible idea. Just a big party. <laughs> just a big party wherever we go. We would buy out the entire state of bubble wrap. 
Ah, I love purple. Yeah, you like it a little too much. Eric C, 100 videos and growing. Congrats. Enjoying the bourbon band journey. Content. Cheers. Thank you, Eric C. Obviously, we are not experts. We're just simply having a good time uh, and, and learning as we go. And we appreciate the support from all of you guys and the end of the, the uh, you know, the whiskey tube community. Yeah. Uh, Stuff and whiskey, obviously, uh, fantastic supporters of the channel and uh, bourbon of the week. Um, Jason C, Mash and Drum, who... Uh, is also live right now. I understand he went live two hours earlier than we thought. So apologies to Jason C from the Mash and Drum for, <laughs> for stealing a little bit of his thunder. That was unintentional. I'm not sure if we're stealing any thunder, but yeah, we're trying to steal some thunder. Maybe. No, I don't think it, it, this was not <laughs> intentional. Uh, we love Jason's show, and, and we actually were planning on going to to uh, that to watch that after this. Yeah. And uh, of course, now that's not going to happen. We'll have to catch up on it though, not live. Um, let's get rotated out here for the yeah. rise. I think I think we've talked about the bourbons enough. There's a little left in my rare breed, so just want to talk about it for okay, one I second more. Already. Yeah, I I drew him down. All right. Um, as long as I didn't mess this up. Can I trade you these bottles as well? Oh sure. Um, so I'm so excited about here off the table. Mm -hmm. There, perfect. I'm excited about the rise. I, I am, am a I'm a I always say rye girl. Yeah, rye girl works. Rye gal. I'm a rye guy. Rye guy. I'm a rye um, person. I really like that? the rye. I do, even though it's summer. Um, JD Rockwell, by the way, says ration, and yes, that's the word. Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you. Ryan says bottle shape and size are very important for shelf space. That's why I have a hard time buying any 1792. That's the. <laughs> they look pretty. That's the hot take of the night, right there. Yeah. That's well said. They do look pretty though up there. Not so old granddad says you're missing out on the wilderness trail. Absolutely. Oh, we we, have we actually trail? we had the bottled and bond bourbon, not the weeded one, the regular one, and that's that's gone. Did we finish it? We bottle yeah, killed it. We finished it. <laughs> <laughs> I bottle killed it because after we used it in that fifty dollar bottled and bond challenge. Oh uh, right. Um it finished first for me and it was down to here and I realized that it was changing so dramatically. I just thought Is that the one we we were thinking about getting the rye? Yeah, that was the one that we were going to get to ride. In Instead, Washington. we got the Four Roses Small Batch Select, and that was a huge uh, error on our... No, not an error. We just... It's a learning experience. It's an experience, all right. The Whiskey Section says, hey, y'all. Hey, Whiskey Section. How you doing? Funny how I can't get anything down here in Mississippi, but I can get Wilderness Trail and Chattanooga 111 everywhere. Oh, well, that is lovely. You know... You. Yeah. <laughs> I love... You know, that's lovely. I'm happy. Bourbon Tech says, love the channel. Congratulations to you both. My wife always enjoys hearing Julie's picks so she knows what to try next. Keep it coming. By the way, what do you think of the rare breed rye? Hey, stay tuned. Just uh, about to find out. We're about to find out. And I got to move these around. Nope, it's this way. You're right. Um, rare breed. I don't think there's that. Rare breed rye is left back. Okay. We had to write it down because. Because we're clumsy and forgetful. Yeah. Jeff Bergen says, I enjoyed the stone with a little ice more than I did. Neat. And. That is not a bad take at all, Wait, right say there. That, sorry, I was distracted. Jeff Perkins says he likes the stone with a little ice more than neat. Mm -hmm. um, that makes sense. Um, Which so will also make a, a wonderful summertime. Yeah, that, that Knob Creek single barrel select, uh, single barrel reserve, the nine year. Uh, that's the same way that I, I well, a little bit of uh, water is how I like that one. Sometimes that's what your palate wants. Do it. Cheech says, Jason is off right now, back at nine Eastern. Okay, well, I feel a little bit better about that. Then. Oh, I don't want to. Good. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey knows we're a new channel and have enjoyed you guys so much tonight. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Tristan wants to know. This one's a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how much I'm enjoying the rise this year. <laughs> Seriously, though, I don't know what it is about the rise. I don't know if it's the spiciness of it. Because They're super complex when done right. I don't know. I mean, I love that candy drink, but there is I mean, just something amazing about rye. I mean, do you think that rye grain is more interesting than corn grain? That's what it comes down to, don't you think? Maybe. You know, with bourbon, you're you're mostly getting corn. That's probably why I like high rye bourbons so much. Like uh, OGD is just a great line to me because that rye creates a lot of dynamic uh, flavor. I'm um, gonna. I'm moving ahead. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Treats for Norman or Phil. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Five bucks will get me somewhere. Yeah. Where is Norman? He's sitting right here staring at me angrily. You already got fed. You're not... Uh... Oh, he is. Yeah. 
He looks very. We'll see. We'll see if we can. Uh, he looks disappointed. Him over here. Why is he so disappointed? Is he a rare breed fan? <laughs> we should be disappointed if we get rare breed high marks. I'm gonna say I, I'm jumping ahead because Phil's doing what he does, but that Stellum Rye nose is wonderful. And the rare breed Rye nose is wonderful, though. Yeah, I know, but let me give you some quick statistics. I have to. I have to. You know, you have to. Give the people what they want. What does sure. it smell like? What does it taste like? Um, I don't know if that's what you're here for. You're probably just here for all, all our nonsense. Probably. I am. Stellum Rye, 116 <laughs> proof, or technically some proof that I can't read because this was drew, drawn on here by robots. 116.24 proof. Um, it is a blend of four to 10 year whiskeys. Sells for $60. Uh, once again, this is an Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee blend. So we're expecting some complexity from those different places. So the rye is $5 more than the bourbon. It is. Yes. And the rare breed rye, 112 proof, 112 point something, I imagine, point two, uh, six, eight, or four, six, and eight year blend. Uh, so it's just a touch younger overall. And it is $60 as well. So this rare breed rye Ooh, is the one a that I. It's a $60 show, uh, show yeah, off. It's, 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 it's a showdown. <laughs> this rare breed rye, by the way, a lot of you probably didn't watch our NGP versus rare breed uh, barrel proof rye um, competition simply because it was a 25 minute video. We don't blame you. Um, spoiler oh, alert no, the rare breed finished second for both of us. Um, so this is going to be interesting because obviously there's a little NGP in this one. Uh, so we'll find out. Tim M. <laughs> well, here in Oregon, you just leave them up all year because they're probably in your front yard. I'm telling you, last year was such a weird year. I think, what did we put the Christmas decorations up? Prior to Halloween, I'm pretty sure. And then, no. Oh, you're starting. <gasps> it's not I didn't wait time. for you. I didn't oh wait my for gosh, this one. You didn't even go into the nose. I can't help it. I can't help it. They they both have a ton of rye grain. I just am like going back and forth because they're just. I just love this. I just love the nose the, on the these. nose on both of these is exceptional. By the way, yeah, that's that's where I would start with this. Is that this is the most inviting pair of rye noses. Like usually when you compare a couple of ryes, something is a little lackluster. Maybe one of them is a bit of a disappointment. Mm -hmm. That's not the case here. These are both really good noses. I will say because I said on the bourbons which nose I liked better. This time out, Stellum knows wins for me. Really? Yeah. It's a little bit sweeter. There's 0% ethanol on it. And I There's feel some like caramely the... vanilla. I'm getting some like fruit and some baking spices already. I mean, it's just really yeah. flavorful for me. So the, there's the thing for me is the rye on the rare breed. Ooh, it's just a, it's a punch of rye grain. I, I've just come to love that. I think punch it's of spice? A, punch of spice. Uh, it's exciting to me. Yeah. I'm crazy about it. On your right. wilderness trail, bottom bound, four or six year. We had the six year. Oh, are we cheers? Okay, I'm actually going. Well, I'm, you already drank, but I have I'm going to go back so. to the Stellum then. Here we go. Oh, sorry. This is an interesting thought here from Not So Old Granddad. He says, "Rise are falling a bit for me in my palate. The mint do notes don't don't do it for me." And that's Ooh. something that I've actually been picking up more and more. Is that maybe it's the heat of the summertime here? I'm loving the mint. So this is very spearminty. Yeah. Or at least mint forward. Yeah, for it's me. it's like fresh mint, like when you slap mint before you put it in a mojito. Is that right? Is that what Ooh. you do? Uh, maybe. I that, mean, it's it's like fresh mint to me. A couple of years ago, it was like the only thing that I grew because I wanted to make mojitos and then realized it's probably just easier to have a professional make one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's spicy. That's minty. There's caramel. There's oak. There's a surprising amount of complexity there. Mm -hmm. And there's one a, more thing on the Stella. It's light on the rye spice on this one. The Tennessee stuff still comes through. Oh, this one actually has, and whenever anybody's talking about that, but that Flintstones vitamin thing, mm -hmm. I go, I have no idea what you're talking about. A little chalkiness. I don't get it really on almost anything except for like really lower end nickel stuff. Mm -hmm. I actually get it here. I find it here on the Stella. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's, it provides a little complexity, but I don't know if I like that complexity. 
Southern Sipper says, sadly, our ABC board hasn't picked up Stellum yet, but I do have an unopened bottle of Rare Breed on hand, so that's good. Ooh. Yeah, I would say you're doing all right then. That's yeah. not too bad. Hope you make it to Ohio someday. We enjoy your podcast tremendously. Keep on making it enjoyable for all that take part. Not a Rye fan, so enjoy. <laughs> Tom, mm. sorry. Well, check. Thanks for checking in. Mm. Cheers. Mm. This is a. This just. I'm not getting really. So we always talk about the rye spice dance on the tongue. Yes. I don't get that with the stellum. Did you go to the rare breed already? No. Okay. But oh no, you can go. You yeah. can go ahead. I. You, hey, we're a team. No, but then you'll have like stuff ready. All right, I'm gonna drink the rare breed. Cheers but I'm just saying it. that it doesn't have like that like dance on the tongue rye spice, but there are a lot of like rye flavors right like that mint does come through i mean i'm getting some oak some caramels that kind of thing on here too but that mint is quite <laughs> tim says i didn't take my real pumpkin off the porch from halloween until late may still not sure how it lasted that long um yeah how would you manage that what's the is the climate do you, live, do you live in a desert what is the climate there I know, you That's live pretty in the good, city, right? I was gonna say, like our pumpkin. I think it was last year. Um, we woke up to some animal head just eating the face, torn it to shreds. Yeah. <laughs> Off and just... Alexander Rivera, Same cheers! Day. Welcome. Mm. So I'm getting a lot of pepper now on this on the Stella. Yeah, a lot of pepper. Yeah, I agree right. with that. But it's it's not. I'm going back. I'm it's going white. Back. It's white pepper, not black, and the yeah. caramel. The gooey caramel note on the stellum mm -hmm. is coming through more and more. I'm I'm liking it more and more. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to the rare breed, which I know you you already have. I'm doing it. Ooh. Well, I got to start early because you were gonna finish it before me. I'm not gonna finish it before you. Well, no, I probably will. Comment on my comment face. Tried the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye against rare breed. Made me realize how good that Jack Daniels Barrel Proof really is. Ugh. It was in another league. I think RB Rye is awesome. Were you? Was that the 2020, the limited edition? Because we haven't tried anything else from Jack Daniels Rye um, other than that one, and that one's so good it blew us away. It's just delicious. That's 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 one of those big like best surprises of the year type of bottles. Well, shoot the <laughs> <laughs> the rare breed rye. Is delicious. Mm -hmm. Vanilla, caramel. There's some fruit in there. Neither one of these are like super rye to me. Yeah, no. There's oak. Actually, this sugar. one. I'll take it back because this one was very minty and very peppery. Yeah. And maybe this one's gonna get there. Interesting. I don't want it to be a rye, like a, a rye, a rare breed sweet. But that kind of seems sad. Yeah, maybe I. Not. You know, it's crazy because the rye notes that you get from these are on the nose, not necessarily the palate. Mm -hmm. There's a so the rare breed. Now I'm getting some lemon, some citrus zest. That's the fruit that I'm getting there. I'm getting some white pepper, so it's not all. It's not intense black pepper. There's a touch of mint there, peppermint, more candy like. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little licorice. Boy, yeah, this is black licorice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, star anise. Yeah. Yeah, I would say licorice because that's just a, yeah. Yeah. What I know. We well, got Norman purring real loud over he's there. Purring. Hey. He's purring. He's excited. He's like, we're talking about rare breed. What? Don't do that. Don't do that directly into the microphone. Anybody that's wearing headphones and pulling them off. When uh, when we were doing the 20 second countdown, I had Norman on my lap and he was just purring away. And I was like, that would be a, an adorable <laughs> intro. <laughs> just a cat purring. So this stellum to me is becoming mostly caramel and mint at this mm. point. The nose is still very rye grainy, mm -hmm. but that's about the only place that I'm getting rye anymore. I'm, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a lot of Tennessee sweetness, getting caramel, getting mint, and I'm not getting really that, that rye complexity that I really like. Yeah. Jack Daniels actually sells a small batch Tennessee taster version in Tennessee. Mm. I assume you're in, oh, you're in Nashville. I, just, I thought we talked about before. It's incredible and only 35 bucks. Okay, yeah, I would, I would try that. Patrick Q, Rise are very hit or miss with me up to this point. Hope it changes as my palate develops. Description always sounds so good. So, Patrick, I believe you commented the other day, said that your first rye that you tried the other day was Old Forester rye, and that it didn't hit your palate. So Very sweet. That's one of those more bourbon-like than yeah. anything else types of rye. Yeah. Um, if you want to try a true rye that's 
very rye like and won't have that sweetness if you really want to test your palate against a rye i think if you can find a wild turkey 101 rye it's affordable enough um, yeah it's a great example of true rye flavor that might be something that appeals to you i don't know um, but in my opinion, that's been one of my favorite rye finds uh, since I started getting the rye whiskey. The mint comes with the MGP, I think. I, I agree, not so old granddad. I actually get it on everything from MGP, from uh, their bourbons to their ryes to their Americans, you name it. I get mint on everything from them. Yeah. Ernie is a cat. Oh, no. Look at Ernie. Oh, Ernie. Uncle Dad thinks I'm chewing on his phone. Congrats on 100. Tell Norman I said so. You see <gasps> Norman, that, Norman? Look at that, buddy. Look at that. That's your friend, Ernie. That's adorable. Thank you, Ernie. Love it. Finally, Norman's here to take over hosting duties. Yeah, he's just going to purr into the microphone just, for the next 20 minutes. I mean, we said it at the beginning. We'll say it again. We understand. Mm -hmm. we're, we're cat people. I mean, I'm just, I'm an animal person in general, yeah. but like, if you saw our Instagram post today, that's our neighbor's cat. That I know uh, we go outside to work because it's too stinking hot in the house all the time. Yeah, and we sit on the couch back there, and she comes running over every time we let her out. So we love it when she's around. She's a real oh, sweetheart. She's real sweetheart. What is Norman's take on the rare breed versus Stellum? Um, he looks so angry at us no matter what. No, so John, I saw your <laughs> comment there as Phil. Wow, there's just cat fur just. Hanging out everywhere. Yeah, there's um, not ghosts to It's cat. It's cat hair. <laughs> so I saw your comment as we were uh, chatting a bit ago, and I did get Norman a little, and he lingered on the rare breed, and he threw his head to the side on the stellum. So I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good representation. Peter, I'm not going to try your last name there, but you're right, old Forrester Riot. Oh. It, it sometimes it hits a palate perfectly. We're old Forrester fans. Um, by the way, I don't know if you guys saw this lurking back here. Um, it's an old Forest Forester single barrel uh, barrel strength rye that we're going to be talking about very soon. We got super lucky with that. Um, got that at the same time as the Russell's 13, so we are excited. Um, I think next Wednesday we're going to be talking about that one. So I know. I, I feel lucky. I feel spoiled. Not even just lucky, just spoiled that we've made such nice connections in, in our – town and surrounding towns but hey build those relationships people. yeah matters chris beaten damn it on late canadians oh hi folks congrats thank you chris we appreciate that norman wasn't having anything at second glen yeah he <laughs> wasn't <laughs> i know he was just like mm, not that one patrick says it, it wasn't sweet for him i had a whistle pig once that i think i liked it was a while ago yeah we've had um we've had a we had a couple of whistle pigs um and one of them was great until it got really low. And it's because, again, that wide bottle, mm -hmm. I think that the oxygen really worked on it, changed everything. It, was, it just got it got really strange for us. It became cherry cough syrup. But when we first got it, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I would say don't give up. If, if you found something that you like, you know. And by the way, Whistle Pig being a Canadian whiskey, you know, maybe explore something like uh, Lot 40 Rye or um, Alberta Premium if you can find any of their stuff. Um there's, there's some that that might be something that appeals to you is Canadian stuff. Mm -hmm. So I will say, hey, there's the hawk is in the house. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thanks for, thanks for coming out. Cheers to you. So I will say that I know that you came to see one of our opinion. Well, no, you didn't. Hopefully, you just came just to hang out and chat. But like yeah. our opinion on these guys, and what's interesting about this one, I think, because they're both six dollars. Yeah. So I can be even more objective just because it's not like, well, they're pretty close. Go with the $45 one, right? Right. Um, Stellum's nose wins for me, and I hate to say this, but I'm very much enjoying the Stellum rye. I like, I, I like, I like no the Stellum rye like more than the bourbon, I will say. I think it's a, it's, it outshines the bourbon, um, in my opinion. Yeah. I go back and forth on it. I think that the mineral note on the rye is not my favorite. Whereas mm -hmm. the Tennessee influence on the bourbon, I think is amazing. Mm -hmm. Here on the rye, I find it distracting and, mm -hmm. I, and I'm not as big a fan of it. I'm actually, I, I'm ready to make my decision on this on this one. Are you? I feel like I already did. You do? <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Um, all right. One more sip of this wild, wild mm -hmm. turkey. Rare breed. Oh yeah, I'm good. 
And I'm actually excited because you know me, I like uh, discovering new things. I like. I actually didn't realize that, Peter. That's helpful. Thank you. Ooh, I did not know that either. Yeah. Good info. Yeah. We actually have the uh, the whistle piglets back here that we're going to be tasting when we're on the road. We're gonna, so cute. We're going to try those Should out in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, whip them out. Whip out your whistle piglets. They're just sorry for all the noise. Boy, that's at an angle. I know. Okay. Uh, look at how adorable <laughs> these are. We've been holding on to these for a while because we keep thinking, what can we do when we're in the van? What's a great tasting that we can do when we're out and about? Little bottles. So we, <laughs> Sample size bottles are perfect for us when we're on the road. I was gonna say, so in this little whistle piglet, <laughs> which is just like the, I mean, you have to buy it just because it's the most adorable name ever. Uh, a 15, a 12, and a 10 here. Yeah, and a finished one in there, I believe. Yeah. Whiskey experiment, by the way. Adorable, Welcome. I love it. Yeah. Keep your eye out for the new Lot 40 Dark Oak. Chris, I'll be honest, the only Lot 40 we get is the base Lot 40. We don't get any of the fun stuff. Um, was it uh, tasting number one? I think uh, Five Sit Friday number one when we got that Lot 40 ones. cask strength. Oh, man. That crushed me. It was so good. And I was so depressed yeah. to know that I'd never try it again. Um, it was amazing. Never try it again. Tim says, wait till you get into one of the rides in that box. Can't wait to see your reactions. By the way, Tim sent us just a boatload, boatload. A oh. boatload of samples uh, for Five Sit Fridays that we are so excited Uh to get into just one so far out of the, it seems like a lot more. Uh, I just, do you ever, maybe I'm just like the only one here in the crew, but you could just smell bourbons and <laughs> rice and whiskeys all day long. They just are just lovely. I actually sit with a glass when it's empty a lot of the time and just smell it because it's I know. The, I no, just, the aroma notes that you get when a glass is empty. It's like you're having incredible. dessert without the calories. Yes. <laughs> Which makes me a little bit happy. Well, I finally finished a glass. And. Oh, you, you beat me this time. That's good. Well, I finished one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the Stellum. Uh, okay, so let, what do they have in common? I wrote this down now, so I want to share this real quick. Exceptional noses on both of them. They both have really nice, intense rye grain on the nose, which I love. Fantastic rye notes up front. Neither one of them is overly rye-tastic on the palate, but I would no. give that nod to the rare breed. Mm -hmm. um, both are spicy but well-balanced. Uh, and there's oak and caramel on both of these. That's mm -hmm. unusual for a rye. They're not always so caramel forward, but these really, really are, especially the stellum in that regard. Um, how they differ, the mouthfeel on the stellum is I wrote, pillowy. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I don't always feel that way about a, a, a whiskey. There's a soft pillowy mouthfeel here. Um, the wild turkey's a touch thinner. Mm -hmm. um, Stella might be a little, little spicier on the finish, and the wild turkey's overall sweeter and has a little tobacco on the nose, which I really like. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I thought that I was going to go Stella tonight, and because of the price, 100%. because it's it's yeah. more. And my understanding is that the Stella was going to be more readily available. Um, and that it's going to be consistently available throughout the year, whereas the rare breed sort of comes and goes. It's batched, it so from year to year it changes. Point. The consistency of the Stellum has to be taken into account, so I really thought that I was going to go Stellum tonight, but once again, that rare breed, the lemon, the white pepper, the caramel, almost a butterscotchy flavor to it, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a rare breed rye fan. That's one of the few bottles that I bought a backup of as soon as I was able to, um, I, I'm a fanatic, I'm a fanatic, I would oh, say for that one. Okay. Um, uh, what's interesting I, about this, this is that no, you're not alone, Aubrey. <laughs> We're on the same page. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best part. <laughs> Lyle um, says a boatload better get started on Thursdays. <laughs> so what's interesting, Don't us. yeah, I, I'm pouring more glasses. Sorry. What's interesting about this <laughs> is that, um, I was all in on the Stellum ride. Like the entire time that we've been discussing this, and then my this word always gets me. My last sip. Wow, I don't know how to turn these bottles. Um, it's the opposite of what you would. Yeah, think. totally. Uh, the last sip, I was like, "Well, rare breed just swept the floor with that one." I kind of, I kind of, and, think I, it's and I don't want to like, and like now I feel like I need to revisit them. So that's why I poured some more glasses because. 
I take hearty sips. Yeah, I think that the caramel note is very powerful on the stellum, almost to the point of sort of wiping out a lot of other flavors, and also that the Tennessee mineral mm -hmm. flavor on the back end. No losers. Those, here. those, no, no losers. They're both very, very good, and I could, I would say, if you've been wondering mm -hmm. if you should buy one of these, if you're seeing it on the shelf, I would always say rare breed rye because of its rareness. Um, is something that I, when I see it, we actually had an opportunity to buy it last week because we already had a backup. I didn't buy it, so I'm hoping that that gives us some good whiskey karma. Um, but uh, it is hard it to is say. It's all about the whiskey karma. Yeah, seriously, hard to say no to those. And also, by the way, Five Sip Friday that comes out on Friday. Talking about, um, there's a couple of folks talking about sipping or it's nosing an empty glass. Um, that's that's how we came close to identifying Friday's Five Sip Friday. Oh, was yeah. was the nose of it? So um, I have to remember what. Well, we some of these get recorded. <laughs> we try to mix up the people that have that have given us samples. Yeah, and so sometimes the recordings get way out of order. So this one, it's been a couple of weeks. You're like sweet, four. but I just I don't have the brain capacity <laughs> to, <laughs> to remember all of the things. <laughs> yeah. Peter says, I wish I could get rare breed rye in Canada, have a Russell's Reserve single barrel rye. That's pretty good. If you're talking consolation prizes, rare, the, the uh, Russell's Reserve single barrel bourbon and rye, just fantastic whiskeys. Um, Ryan says, an empty Lafrag Glen the next morning is a great way to pick up the sweetness that's hidden behind the smoke. Mm. Did I say that? Lafroy? Lafrag? I always get it wrong. Uh, I need to start practicing my Scotch pronunciations. Taylor Opie, Russell's Reserve 13 flex in the background. No, yeah, no big deal. It, it is a little hilarious. It's like the only bottle that's on the outside. It's the bottle not shape. Not on purpose. There's the three bottles, there's three Russells up there. It's just the bottle shape. I know, not on purpose, but I am pretty like, well, I didn't do anything, but Phil was <laughs> a little aggressive in, in calling our local stores. <laughs> about the arrival uh, and was monitoring on like pretty much an hourly basis like what's happening today yeah i'm i stay on top of it i stay on top of the products that i'm looking for um yeah next week we'll have a next week or two weeks from now we'll have a feature on that russell's I'm not sure exactly what the timeline is hmm. well you've, you've doubled me up on whiskeys now do you have a choice in this one i um was just noticing this one it's very licorice again Still, that must be like something that kind of lingers with them. This is clever. I always leave my glasses out so I can smell them in the morning, pick up different notes to look for the next time. Mm -hmm. That's honestly, if you're a new whiskey drinker, um, that's a that's or a me. great note. Or you, yeah. or me who just forgets everything as soon as it's out of my just head. Just nosing empty glasses <laughs> or nosing them the next day. Um, it it yeah, it gives you an idea of what to look for the next time around, and that's how you that's how I was able to. You know, pick a lot of my favorites was just nosing that empty glass. It it covers a lot of ground, and actually, for our five sip Fridays, when I've done, when we've done well, yeah, it's usually when we got an empty glass in front of us. So I think I'm ready to make a decision. Okay. I mean, not a decision. There's sixty it's bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna say there's sixty bucks. If you yeah. see either of them, get them. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with either one of them. I don't have a, sure. I don't have a problem with it, and I don't really have a problem with the price point on either of them. My, surprisingly, I'm gonna go with the Stellum on this one. Are you really? Yeah, there's just, whereas that, like, so, like, where's that punch of flavor, the, you, oh, <laughs> stick it. Where's that punch of flavor and that punch of, like, all the things, right? A little bit of the the heat, a little bit of the spiciness in the bourbon really attracted me to that. On this one, I thought it was more cohesive and melded better as just an overall. You thought the Stellan was more cohesive? Yeah. Well, I mean, just like the flavors all kind of work together. And it and I know rice are supposed to be a little bit spicy, but I liked the way it drank at the end. And yeah. I went back and forth because I think both of them are delicious and I would never pass up an opportunity to drink either of them. Right. So I am tipping my hat. So I feel very like 
kind of annoyed with myself that I went rare breed one way and then sell the other. So it's like a 50 I mean, 50 split, but yeah. that's how I'm going on this one. Nothing wrong with that. I think yeah. if you can get them for the same price, the Stellum bourbon is a preference choice where I would mm -hmm. probably say if they're the same price, I would, I, I always keep rare breed on the shelf. It's hard to, to say against it, but it's that Stellum is unique and that Tennessee mm -hmm. sort of, sweetness that comes to the table is is great and so I, I definitely think that the Stellum bourbon for the same price is worth a flyer and i would say but the the rye i know that the Stellum is more readily available if you see the rare breed that out there to me that one hits my palate i just i love the rye notes i think it's a more it's a more rye tastic rye i don't disagree with that yeah this one does get me a little bit that last sip i mean at this point right we had the two before and now three here um it still gets me a little bit right here yeah and at this point i feel like it should be yeah. just more of a subtler i don't know i should be used to it or whatever and i like actually the has, i and, wanted to break my nose i, I know it. and actually it's on the reverse where it's like instead of it's like whoa and then you like <laughs> love it i'm like right. i love it and then i'm a little bit like okay now i'm over it <laughs> so that's why i'm going with the Stella, which is all right super so we so we have a scientific bit of a, a flip-flop here yeah all right well there you nice. have it so we honestly though i think we need to say and this is not just me being diplomatic this is me being absolutely truthful all four of the whiskeys we tried tonight terrific i would never steer, steer anyone away from rare breed no i i loved all four of these so and i'm and and Stella obviously is a new one for us i'm I thought the bourbon was was fine. I hate to say fine, but I thought it was. I thought it was nice. It was yeah. fine. For um, me, that, since it's ten dollars more by us, it's hard for me to yeah. recommend selling at ten dollars more than yeah. than wild turkey Agreed. rare breed bourbon. If it's the same price, now we're talking. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, well, we've kept you longer we've than we said because we yeah. always want to move you to the mash and drum. Yeah. Right. We want to Jason's show tonight. Uh, let me get uh, the website up so we will choose a number. Do you want to randomize over there real quick? Yeah. And, uh, Who gets the flight oh, Shoot. Thank you guys for coming, A lot of notifications coming through. So thanks to those wow. of you who became Patreons tonight. Um, your support uh, definitely means a lot to us. And uh, there's the address there. If yeah. you want to become a Patreon, we do live streams every month. We do lots of bonus content. Um, there's merchandise that's only available to our Patreon supporters. So, um, let's see. And I'm just grateful. Like we, we had a hundred videos, which at the beginning didn't seem like it was going to be possible. Didn't I mean, seem not, like it was gonna not be that possible. it was, wasn't going to be possible. Just, it seemed like a long ways away. And I feel pretty happy that we made it that far. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This and is we're crazy. still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how many numbers do we have tonight? How many? Oh, sorry. We... 65. 65. All right. So that you've got... If a... you submitted something, um, you're within a 165th chance times whatever you put in. So that's pretty good odds. So somebody's going to win something right here. I know. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Lyle. We, we appreciate it. We, we have fun with these live streams. So we're really glad we yeah. uh, that you guys enjoy them as well. And... I love that randomized. So nerdy. So nerdy with my spreadsheets as we're all chatting and stuff. Why won't my picker wheel work today? Technology. Seriously. 65. Return. Well, the random number picker wheel is not working, so we're going to go... <laughs> Random number wheel. Here we go. We think we'd be better at this. I don't know why that website didn't work for me today. Well, if that's one to ten, Google, pick a number between one and sixty-five. Sorry, guys. This makes it for um, what do you call it? Where suspense. Like suspense. More suspense. Like who could get to try the rare breed ride? All right, I just typed in random number between one and sixty-five. Ting. Cheers to number twenty-four. Who do we got here? Twenty-four. 
Eric C. Eric C. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Lyle picked number 37 for us. Well, thanks, Lyle. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, Eric C. will be in touch. Biggest feat. Still together after 100 episodes. Johnny, you talk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we still like each other, so that's yeah. good. Right? <laughs> Yeah. For episodes, we're still sitting next to each other. I think you're all right. Norman, I mean, we were pretty good. <laughs> we were pretty good, but, you know, Norman kind of comes and goes. He's a, he's He is know. glaring at us. Yeah. I'm yes, a little is. uncomfortable. I'm a little worried to see what happens next. Cheers. That. Great life. Well, of course it's great life for Eric. He's the winner. And uh, thanks a lot, Eric. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Uh, we'll be in touch. Uh, Eric, of course, uh, is one of our patrons, so we know him. We don't have to ask for information. We're going to find out. Um there you go. We. Uh, I will say it was a delicious. This was terrific. Yeah. If if you have the Line opportunity, up. we highly recommend doing this yourself, um, because Stellum and Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Yeah. You. I know that Stellum, by the way, has single barrels. We've never seen one of those. Uh, but uh, there's so many good products made by both of these distilleries. You just yeah. can't go wrong. We're really happy about both of them. So. Thank you to everybody who uh, has supported us over 100 episodes. Thank yeah. you for supporting us through this live stream, supporting us with Super Chats, supporting us with Patreon support, whatever it might be. Um, we, we really, we can't, we can't thank you enough. Uh, I know. Buying t-shirts and things. It's a great community. It is a fantastic community, yeah. yeah. And uh, if you haven't seen, uh, we do have a new shirt out. I think Eric might have recommended this one. Yeah, uh, kind of a weird uh, after coincidence. Our, after, yeah. Seriously, after, after last our week. after our old Forester video where you were trying to get me to laugh, and I said, "Drink your whiskey." So Drink then, your whiskey. now you know if you haven't seen that one, and if you haven't seen our uh, our Monday video yet um, on what we're drinking now, um, check that one out because we we hope that that's the type of thing that uh, helps people choose good bottles yeah. when they're at the liquor store. That's what we're all about. So um, I think that about wraps it up. I know I had a great time. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, thanks everybody. This was all a lot of videos. fun. Videos, crazy, crazy. Well, should we cheers them? Do you have any whiskey left? Of course. I mean, I refilled, so now I have whiskey left. <laughs> From wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thanks.